Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So today we have episode 13 of season 2 of The Bad Batch. And I am very nervous because last week's episode was very nerve-wracking and very emotional. Um, and I'm scared that... I'm scared to see what's going to happen to Crosshair. Um, but also I'm scared that they're not going to touch on that at all this week. I feel like this episode they're going to be like skew away from it a little bit maybe go back to like omega and stuff like that because obviously we we also need to realize that she is being tracked at the minute like they're trying to find her um but i i want to know more i want to make sure the crosshair is okay and i'm scared that we're not going to find out any information about that this week and we're gonna have to wait even longer so i'm really nervous about this episode but let's get straight into it and see what happens Why, why is he gonna drink that with a helmet on? Poison is not typically my drink. Impressive. For a pirate. Uh oh. <laughs> Behind you. Oh, nice one, Hunter. She did. Ooh. <gasps> now it's getting interesting. Never mess with the bad batch. Nice one, Omega. Damn. Oh. <laughs> she learning yes, well. I'm playing against myself. It is the only time this game is a challenge. <laughs> I swear to God, if this was something for Sid, like if this was a mission they're doing for Sid, I'm gonna be so angry. You know, Omega was pretty impressive back there. She was. Her training's paying off. Omega spends all her time with you three. She needs friends, one's her own age. We never had such a thing. I do not see the issue. Oh. <laughs> no kidding. I'm fed up of all the Sid stuff, man. Leave it be. So, it's been 20 rotations? You didn't mention you cut ties with Sid. Our mutually beneficial arrangement wasn't so beneficial. Mutually. No, it was out, not. Did you? I've known Sid a long time. In that case, you all are coming with me. Head to these coordinates, brown eyes. I hope this isn't just another random mission we're going on because I feel like there's too much at stake now. We got shown that episode last week and I'm just like, we haven't seen Rex and Echo since. Still gonna enjoy it, but after last week, I'm just like, stressed. We don't have time for this, guys. It holds treasures from all over the galaxy. My analysis indicates that this so-called artifact you don't let Dr. Afra know about this place. No monetary value. It's about time you showed your face around here. Miss me, Shep? You got some competition. <laughs> <laughs> A wrecker. That's funny. Welcome and further. <laughs> uh. He's never brought any friends here before. You'll probably hate it. It'll be great. Damn, um, she way, really has a I'll thing for tech, up. doesn't she? Damn. I mean, valid. Who doesn't? Oh, tech. Gonna put this someplace safe. Tech? Damn, this place is pretty as hell. I want to go here. Whoa. Dude, if I landed here, I would never be leaving. Like, I would never want to leave this place at all. Monkey! Monkey! Oh, I love him. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. <gasps> I want one. Even more reason to not leave this place. I have not heard her laugh like that in some time chance to start over as a father you couldn't ask for a better place to raise a child 
I love how they just see Hunter as the father. Something to think about, isn't it? We all stay on Pabu permanently. I mean, if it keeps the if it keeps you guys safe and you get to see monkeys and Omega gets to be happy and have friends and not get hunted by the Empire, then she yeah. Seems to like it here. I would say go for it. Stability. Just get crosshair first and bring crosshair back. Set up a housing area for clones and all the clones that need saving. Um, bring them here and everything will be fine. Can I go? Have fun. Oh, Hunter. His little smile. Oh. I'm full. I am never I was full. gonna say, you're full? I will note the date and time to commemorate such a momentous occasion. <laughs> More. Oh, save room for dessert. <gasps> I love this place. <laughs> I think Wrecker wants to stay here more than Omega would, honestly. That's so wholesome. Dude, this place is so nice. Like, I would love to be able to do this. I don't like boats and I don't like water, but I would risk it for this. This is very nice. It's almost time. For what? See for yourself. I am not seeing anything. Just wait. It'll be worth it. Whoa! Pretty spectacular, right? I suppose that is one way to quantify it. I love how Wrecker's now got a bestie as well. The monkeys are sensing something is off. Always trust the animals. We need to. Oh, this is gonna be heartbreaking, isn't it? What was it? Is it gonna be some big creature? Is it the mythosaur? I believe this island is at risk for a significant sea surge. How much risk? Highly probable to imminent. We haven't had a sea surge in more than three decades. If we were at risk, the early warning system would have activated. I don't like the sound of that. Well, there's your warning sound. Why aren't we moving? Yeah, remember I said I was scared of water and boats? Yeah, this isn't helping. Maybe I wouldn't risk it for this for the sunset. I love them two together. It makes me happy. I would be running. I would not be climbing up ladders. That's too slow and too risky. Can I help you? Oh. Everything will be fine, Mr. Let's go, Wrecker. <laughs> oh, bless him. Jeez. Horrifying stuff, man. Oh, come on, lads. Come on. Please, Shep. Please be okay. Oh, man. Don't slip last second. I swear to God. Pull him up! No! Don't let him fall! Thank goodness. <laughs> He's just one of the kids. I've always said he is a big kid. He did a lot of work. Let him rest. We'll band together and rebuild. I was thinking we could stay and help out with things. I had the same idea. Did you now? <laughs> if you don't mind us sticking around for a while. Dude. Tech got himself a lady. Damn. 
you know what that was a really sweet episode it was a little bit terrifying um but i did really enjoy that episode um and i know i said halfway through that you know if it was just another typical mission then i would be a little bit disappointed but i did enjoy this i think there was a lot of character development for everyone and um i really enjoyed it i am loving tech and fee uh i think that's really sweet because obviously we all kind of guessed that she flirted with him when they first met um and now i think he's feeling a little bit of feelings back and i think it's really sweet i think tech deserves love he definitely deserves love um and fee is very sweet like she brought them back to the, the you know her her home world where she's where she lives and got her to meet her friends and family um and i thought that was really nice i do really like fee a lot more than sid i'm so sick of them mentioning sid but i'm so glad that they've like ghosted her like they literally said let's ghost this bitch um but i am worried about the repercussions i'm worried about what that's gonna lead maybe she's gonna give away their position maybe she has like a tracker on them or something maybe she's gonna give away their positions if they come to her and say hey where's omega um i feel like she might give them up which is kind of scary um but yeah now that we know that the that the batch that the, the the bad batch are staying on this place to help these people rebuild and live out here for a little while that does make me a little bit nervous for what else is going on because they're nowhere near saving crosshair obviously they don't know what's going on but they're not they're going to be spending their time doing this and crosshair is stuck in this facility having something done to him um, so hopefully that's going to be a case for like Rex and Echo and Cody and stuff like that. I'm still waiting for them to come back. Like they give us that and they haven't shown us any more of that. So I'm like, as nice as this episode is, I would like them to, you know, we've only got a couple of episodes left. So I would like them to sort of get back to that part. Um, but all in all, I did enjoy the episode. I just would like to get back to some more things um with the other clones and stuff but it is what it is i still enjoyed the episode i thought it was good um hunter letting omega go off and make friends was nice and you know saying like he hasn't you know seen her that happy in a while i thought that was sweet and omega is making friends and i do like this girl that she's with i thought that was very sweet um a little sweet friendship so she's got her she's got Hera. she's got like was it Cutler Quinn's kids? Um, she's she's got some friends, which is quite nice. Um, and obviously Wrecker just being Wrecker, and you know them like writing down this momentous occasion where he finally says, "I'm full." That was so funny to me. That was so funny. And his little jokes at the beginning towards Tech, he's like, "Oh, you got competition." I thought that was so funny. Um, I I love Wrecker so much. He 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 has a big place in my heart um but yeah another good episode can't wait for next week um it definitely definitely took a lot of the tension from last week away which is nice because i've been stressed the entire week waiting for this um last week's episode was so emotional man i'm not over it i'm never getting over it um but yeah next week make sure you subscribe for more content for more bad batch and more mandalorian content and i will see you guys in the next episode in the next video so peace and may the force be with you <laughs>